three books about music. Hi, welcome to Garage Geek. So this is a thread, I believe, that was started by Mama's Records. I've seen um, a, a couple of these videos, one most recently by T-Cat's Deep Vinyl Tracks. I've actually been meaning to make this uh, video for a while. So I, I've at least seen three or four of these uh, thread videos. And I've been wanting to do it, but one of the reasons I haven't is because we're supposed to show uh, books about music that we've read. And I really don't read biographies. Now, I actually do read quite a bit, but I just, biographies is just not my thing. Like, I think, like, I remember reading um, Just Kids, you know, I don't know, that was at least, I don't know, what, like eight years ago. So, I mean, I, I occasionally I will pick one up and I'll read it. And Just Kids was great um, about uh, Maplethorpe and um, Patti Smith, Robert Maplethorpe and Patti Smith. So that, that book, I you know, I enjoyed. So it's not that I won't ever pick up a music biography. It's just, you know, not something that I normally do. However, I do want to take part in this challenge. So I'm not going to go over three books. I've got a whole stack of books. And not only am I going to not do three, I'm going to do various genres because I just don't like to stick to music. So here we go. Now, the the books that I like most when it comes to music and the other genres that I'm going to talk about are mostly kind of reference or list books. I'm someone that is really into lists. And for example, if you say, oh, my top 10 whatever of this year, boom, I've got to watch your video because there's just something in me that is like, I've got to see a list. So the first one we're going to talk about is this really big old book that I've had forever, the Academy Awards, uh, The Complete Unofficial History. Now, what I love about this, obviously this genre is movies, is it goes year by year and it shows all, you know, it shows the, the actors and the actresses and it, it just lists everything for that year. And it's just this book... Every, every time the Oscars are getting near, I kind of just gravitate toward this book and start looking. And if I, I watch a couple of these movies each year, I go and look and see what I haven't watched and who they were up against and blah, blah, blah. Continuing in the movie vein, I have this Leading Couples. Now, these books are put out. They're like TCM uh, film guides. This one looks a little stained. I bought it used. Um, but it goes through the careers of famous couples in movies. Such a great, great volume. And companion volumes to those are Leading Men and Leading Ladies. So you can easily find these. These are, again, TCM film guides, and they're put out by uh, Chronicle Books. Okay, that was awkward. Chronicle Books. And so obviously the Leading Ladies is going to, you know, all the beautiful, just beautiful books. Okay. And of course, the leading men, same thing. Blah blah blah. I mean, come on, these—they're gorgeous pictures of all these actors and actresses. Oh, we're finally gonna get to the first music one. <laughs> I hate myself and want to die. Okay, so this book is such fun. I don't know if "fun" is the right word, but the fifty-two most depressing songs you've ever heard. So it basically goes through the history of the song. Um, so, for example, this one, In the Air Tonight. And then it, it's basically articles. I mean, this is nothing that you can't find in Wikipedia these days, but it's just fun to dip in into something like this every once in a while. And I'll go ahead and uh, make a short playlist of some of these songs and then listen to them for a week or two before I move on. Next! We've got this awesome 1001 books you must read before you die. Okay, so one of these, you if you don't read these before you die, then you weren't a good human being. So I love these. Again, I love, oh, there's James Baldwin. Okay, gotta love him. Okay, so you're just going to go through this and you're going to find some interesting books. I mean, there's a thousand and one of them. So there's got to be something in here that you haven't read. I mean, even if you're a prolific reader, you're, there's probably something in here that you haven't read. And so I love jumping in and out of this every once in a while and and uh, 
seeing something that I haven't read and then, you know, just reading it and then going back and reading what the, the person uh, wrote about it. Oh, well, I did that pretty quickly. I have two left. So we will end with a music one. So let's go ahead and go on with 1001 comics you must read before you die. Now, the reason that this is really important is because I grew up on superhero comics, mostly Marvel and DC, but this one has so many world comics in it. So this these are things that I never had access to as a kid. And so, oh, look at that one. I obviously had to have access to that one. But there's just going to be so many recommendations for comics from around the world. And things like Bosnian fables. And what is this one? Fire and Ash. So there's going to be so many things in here that I, I've i never heard of. Just because I focus so much on Marvel and DC. And so this is a great resource to jump in and out of every once in a while. And then go on eBay and see if you can find it cheap. And then go ahead and, and read it. So definitely a, a, an awesome resource. As promised, we are going to end with music. So one th of course, it's 1,000 recordings to hear before you die. I love, love, love this book. In fact, uh, before I had a YouTube channel, a friend and I, we would uh, pick one. She would just text me a number, a random number, and then I would go to that recording and then we would listen to it for a week and then we would discuss what we thought about it and whether we agreed with the uh, review in here. It's kind of a fun way to approach music every once in a while. It's, it's in a way, it's not sustainable because we get busy, but every once in a while jumping into one of these and, you know, saying, oh, they picked this one. I would have pick that one and then, you know, read the review. So, I mean, it's somebody's opinion, but it's always fun to have something like this uh, just to jump in and out of. All right, so I covered music, comics, and movies, and books. So, you got, you got a lot of bang for your buck in this video. So, how many books did I go over? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight. Oh, I should have done nine because that would have been a multiple of three. Hmm. Missed opportunity there. So I want to thank Mama's Records for, for starting this thread and for the other people who have jumped on this thread. And um, I want, again, thank you for your support.